Hey guys, it's Crystal. Today I'm back with a Halloween DIY. Um, my daughter wanted to be Batman this year for Halloween, so I decided to create her costume. So if you want to know how I did it, please keep watching. Right here I'm just getting all my templates together. Basically I found um, a picture I liked and printed it out and sized it for all the sizes that I was going to need. So um, you will need cardboard stock or something um, more sturdy to get a good template and just cut it out. Now I'm going to start working on her mask and also um, all of the logos for the costume. I found that it was easier to use um, chalk instead of a pen. Um, you could see it way better so I would recommend using chalk for that part. Here I just made two little holes for the mask and cut them out and then assembled it with ribbon or you can use elastic. Here I'm just taking my fabric um, that I had on hand instead of felt and just drawing out the late the little I'm sorry guys <laughs> the logo if you want to use felt by all means you can um, I just had fabric in hand so I decided to go ahead and use it and now I am going to um, glue it all together this project is basically a no sew project of course, if you do know how to sew, um, I recommend you do it if you want the costume to last longer, of course. But I wanted to make this um, easy for those who do not know how to sew. Here I just got my daughter's leotard. Uh, I found this one at Academy, it was the smallest one I could find and just put a cardboard underneath so that it will not stick together with the glue. So now I'm just going to glue on the um, logo again. Now I'm going to be working on her cuffs, the belt, um, using just one piece of felt. So here I'm just trying to um, measure how big I want the cuffs. I did opt for making them a little bit bigger because I know my little one loves to play dress up. So we're definitely going to use this costume um, at home in general. So. Um, I made it a little bit big. Here I just bought some adhesive uh, hook and loop or um, velcro. These are actually not for um, fabric so all I did was just add the fabric glue onto there and glued it on and it worked perfectly they haven't came off or anything so little tip want to attach the um, hook part you are going to put the loop on top and then put your glue that way they will line up perfectly when it's time to put it on the other side. Here you can put um, another logo on there. It's really optional. Um, here I decided I wanted to uh, draw on the logo instead of actually cutting one out because the small ones were a little bit difficult to cut out so decided to go with this instead but it's really up to you what you want to do everything is pretty much optional when it comes to designing your own costume so if you don't like something that I did necessarily go ahead and tweak it to your life uh, 
Um, the Barbie that she has and the one Batgirl that she likes does have like little pockets on the belt. So I decided to go ahead and make some for her. For me. Yes, for you. Um, so here I'm just again mama. measuring it to a better measurement that I liked and decided to cut it. So here I'm just gluing the sides of the pocket, not the whole thing, just the sides. That way it will be a pocket. If you want to glue the whole thing to make it look like a pocket, then go for it. Again, everything is pretty much optional. Create it to your liking. So here I was trying to figure out how I was going to do the flaps on the pocket and decided to go ahead and do it this way glue it from the back and then um, I advise ironing the felt down so that the felt will stay down I also want to mention I probably should have mentioned in the beginning this costume is Pinterest inspired so I will post the original post um, on the description below. Here I am just um, taking the piece of yellow ribbon that I purchased and cutting it to make the rest of the belt and I'm going to attach it with glue and also a small section of felt so that it will not come off. My toddler was asleep during this process so I wasn't able to exactly measure the correct measurement um, so after she woke up then I was able to cut it down to the correct size make sure you put the same um, side of ribbon on both sides. Here I noticed I actually I accidentally switched it over so I just redid it. After my toddler woke up I then measured her and cut the ribbon to the size I needed to. I did leave it a little longer because I added velcro to it. That way if she grows um, she could still use it later on it's totally optional if you want to do the velcro or not you can leave it off and then just tie it in a ribbon when um, you use it or your child uses it and I basically did the same concept with the other velcro portion here I just took the cape that we had already and folded it in half and also folded my fabric in half Using chalk, I just traced along the edges and cut it to the size that I needed it. I actually made it a little bit shorter for my little one because she is very petite. Here I just laid down the cape and opened it up, put it on top of cardboard so the glue would not stick, and then just glued the biggest logo I had onto the center of the cape. You do have the option to sew the edging of the cape if you want to. Um, again, I wanted this to be a non-sewing project, but if you are good with sewing, that could be an option. Just press it down firmly. 
And the next parts are totally optional. I wanted to decorate the um, logos a little more and add a little sparkle to them. So here I just took Mod Podge um, for fabric and also took my glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I also used in my last um, project. If you haven't checked that out, I'll have it linked above. You want to work fast because the glue does um, dry up pretty fast. Here, instead of gluing the logo on, I wanted to just use the glitter. So I just took the stencil and Mod Podge and um, basically painted it on the um, belt and then just added the glitter and let that sit for a while. And the last thing I wanted to do was uh, work on my daughter's um, shirt. Same concept, work fast and put the glitter and leave it on for a while. And this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Halloween tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos. Um, and have a safe Halloween.